Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Engineering Mechanics Statics Tutor. Here we're going to uh, work this problem where we're going to be asked to find what is the angle theta that exists between these two items in the drawing there. Keep in mind my drawings aren't perfect. They're, they're freehand drawings, so kind of use your imagination and see that what we have here is some sort of wall, some sort of hook here. I've, I haven't really drawn the wall, but it's basically some kind of hook. There's a wooden member that extends from point A to point B. This is rigid. And then also attached to this hook, which is where the wood is attached, is a rope, which is being pulled in this direction with a force vector that's outlined on the board here. Now notice that the force vector is already given to you in Cartesian coordinates. So you know from just looking at this that we have uh, negative six kilonewtons in the I direction, nine kilonewtons in the J direction, and three kilonewtons in the K direction. So because the force vector is already given to us in Cartesian, you kind of already know it's X, Y, and Z components, X, Y, and Z being I, J, and K. Now, we also have some dimensions written here, and that's basically telling us the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the intersection point here. And notice the wood is terminated at the origin, which I'm labeling point B. So, there are probably a million ways to figure out what the angle is between those guys. Um, but if you remember back to the definition of the dot product, one of the ways to calculate it is if we know, if we have two, two vectors that we're dot together, then the way to do that is the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B times the cosine of the angle between them. And that's exactly what we want to find. If we, if we can find what the cosine of that angle is, we can take the inverse cosine and we know what the angle is. So ultimately this whole problem is going to boil, boil down to figuring out what vector A is. This, this will be what we call vector A. And this will be vector B here, this position vector. We dot those guys together and effectively through, through the math we'll end up finding what cosine of theta is and so we'll solve for theta. So we have to kind of take that as our general roadmap. We're going to use a dot product to solve this. So um, basically, in order to dot these guys together, we already have this vector. You know, when you we have two vectors you dot together, you need to have two vectors. This force vector is already given to us, and it's already given to us in Cartesian coordinates. So it's, it's right there. It starts at point A here, and it goes off to some other point we haven't really labeled here because we're already given the full-blown vector representation. But for this vector here, we're given the endpoints. We know what point A is because everything's labeled and we know that point B is at the origin. So we have to define point, or I should say vector AB, starting at point A and terminating at point B so that we can write that down and then dot it with the other vector that we have here. Okay, so if we, were, if we were going to write that down, I would label it as a position vector, because that's what it is, going from point A to point B. Okay, R means position vector. And if you remember back here, it's, 